So, here we go then. Universidad Católica against Santos. I'm John Champion, and sitting alongside me up here in our lofty perch in the commentary box, I want to take you to a gay bar. I want to take you to a gay bar. I want to take you to a gay bar. Gay bar, gay bar. Let's start a war. Start a nuclear war. Away we go then. Universidad Católica against Santos. He's looking to play it into the channel. Here's a shot. To be fair, that was tough for the keeper to handle. And suddenly the defence is on the back foot. Quickly closed down. That's a threatening through ball. Good hand by the keeper. Athletic goalkeeping. Well, he was in such a great position in front of goal, and you'd expect him to score from there, but somehow he's missed it. Plenty of options. Who's he looking to pick out? Looking for width. Aruka. He moves in swiftly. Oh, well defended. Slickly done that. Tries to slide it past the defence. Oh, he's lost out there. Looking to carve open the defence. Maybe now. The post to the rescue. He's just drifted beyond the last defender. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. It didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser Play issue. Play surges forward. Leo puts a stop to the attack. Quarter of an hour gone in the first half. Quickly closed down. Looking to play on the break. Ball stolen. Aruka. That's a throw. Despejala. 
Some debate here, but in the end, a goal kick is awarded. He tried going it alone, but without success. Thiago Ribeiro. Good through ball. Aruka. He moves in swiftly. Leo. Aruka. Wax it. Some hopeful faces waiting in the middle. He goes looking for his teammate. Gets the ball in a nice position. The forward push gains momentum. He plays it through. Look, he just needs to hold his run a bit longer because he's got the pace to make up the ground. Tiago Ribeiro has robbed him. Cleared away from immediate danger. Neatly played. A fine reaction save. Some hopeful faces waiting in the middle. Hits the ball. The finish was not what was required. Oh, the ball in at such good pace on it. He only had to redirect it with his head. I think the cross was an absolute peach. Leo cuts out what was really a sloppy pass. Quickly closed down. Now Aruka. Looking to receive the ball. Break could be on. Here's a shot. Saved by the keeper. Oh, what a great individual effort that was. Lovely close control, good balance, and a shame he just couldn't add that finish. A goal for Santos. They've grabbed the opener. That's the instinct of a goal scorer. I know questions will be asked of that defence, but there was an element of good fortune in that. They get us underway at 1-0. Yeah, there's such a consistency about his movement and his work rate that it's the platform for everything else he does, for all his attacking instincts, and he's just a very tidy goal scorer. He scores! And how important could that be for Universidad Católica? Oh yeah, that hurts me. Oh, it's a fucking deed.
stick your finger in there and be like what you see, that turns me on. It's a fucking deed. Let me come. Well, in a tight game like this, there was always going to be little to separate them, but he really made that count. A chance to counter-attack here. Played through the middle. It's through. Where's the defence? A goal for Universidad Católica. Universidad Católica have turned it around. They've got a precious one goal lead. Oh, look, it's lovely having a player with such a. The whistle goes to signal the midway point of this game. 2 1 the scoreline. Three goals to enjoy from the first half. Señoras y señores, les informamos que solamente se permite fumar en las áreas designadas para tal caso. Santos getting us underway for this second half. Quickly closed down. No, that wasn't the best of passes. Oh, that's a neat escape. Now, surely. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. Didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. Rafael Gallardo. Rafael Gallardo is in position to intercept. Easy pickings, really. Slickly done, that. Rafael Gallardo. Pumps it upfield. No 
knocks it through. He shoots there. In for the rebound. It's in. Two goals to the good, and they're set fair. Great, that one's down to the goalkeeper. And it's the last line of defence, and you don't get it right, and you're paying a visit to the A great defence for him. They now lead by two. Well, I think that two-goal cushion they've just manufactured is a fair reflection of what we've seen up to now. It also adds to the, the psychological divide between the two teams. It could make a big difference. Forward it goes. Neatly played. Pumps it upfield. Play surges forward. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Vital interception there. A long ball forward. Hit over the top. Just the keeper in his way. Hits it. Oh, it's come off the upright. Thumps it long. That wasn't the best of passes, really. No, possession lost. He's not taking any risks there. And the cross on his head. Lovely delivery. Just couldn't come up with the finish that maybe it deserved. Well, if only the calibre of the finish was as high as the, the calibre of the supply. I mean, that was a beautifully played cross and it really should have seen something better on the end of it. Oh, the ball in at such good pace on it. He only had to redirect it with his head. I think the cross was an absolute peach. Ticked off. A long ball into space. And it's hit forward. Aruka with the crucial intervention. It's played into space. Steals the ball. Possibility for a shot. A huge chance missed. Well, you can't fault the effort they're putting into it. You know, without an end product, though, it just piles up the frustration. Tiago Ribeiro. No, no way through there. Pumps it upfield. He's been dispossessed. Looking to play on the break. The pass needed to be better there. Tried to play it through. Drives it in. And he makes absolutely no mistake. They're back in it now. Come on, what energy. That was a teasing finish. Well, when you go one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, you can't afford any indecision. And that was decisive and clinical.
The difference is down to one. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Here's a chance to get a cross in. Oh, well defended. The clock counting down. A timely intervention. He's going on. He can take the shot on here. And it's a really well taken goal. That should do it for them. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Begley? It's almost incredible to see the defence go to identify several of the five goals in the last season. That's you. And yet they didn't see that. They paid the price. They deserved it. Surely now this match is over as a contest. Interesting to see how much stoppage time. There's the answer. Two minutes. It's not a lot. The ball played down the middle. Eugenio Mena gets it back in the nick of time. Eugenio Mena. There's the final whistle. Where some teams may have panicked, they showed real team solidarity. Always working for each other tirelessly and pushing for the win. Well, how enjoyable was that? I love it when you get two teams giving it everything they've got. They held nothing back. Terrific stuff. My thanks go to Jim, and it's now time for us to leave tonight's coverage. We both wish you a very good evening. One more time.